Hey everybody, during the break we decided to abandon our hopes for getting a new spell. Because a hundred thousand a hundred million dollars is just plain silly. But let's continue on playing Ginormous Sword, eh? This is where I gave up last time. One go well, kinda one, this guy. He's pretty much an Efreet clone, but I can kill him without putting a water charge on my weapon. Never he's still a douche. Die, douchey, die. Thank you. This might seem like it's uninhabited, but there's actually invisible people. All invisibles must die. Anyone else? You also notice that our uh, sword now takes up a great portion of the screen. To that I say, suck it, Vortexes. We have giant sword. Feel our girth. Shazam! And there's... There. This thing. This is not the boss. No, no. No, our boss for this level is much more dickish. This is our boss now. We're not going to go there yet. We have stuff to do first. Most importantly, we must go here. Put some dark on there. And then stick a couple of light on our uh, massive sort of ass kicking. Now, gentlemen, behold, death. Death is a douche. Your periodically phases in and out, and you cannot hit him in that part in that part of the uh, animation he's doing. However, I'm not exactly sure uh, where his hitbox is. Period. Likes to try and corner us. I've never beaten death. Anything past this part of the game is a blind run for me. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to spend a lot of this LP fighting death. I intend to finish this game. A little bit. I honestly don't care about the real ending. Because the only thing it, I know that the only thing it nets you is uh, a trophy which makes everything else harder. That's it. Then I've seen people fighting him. And to that I say, no. No, no. God damn it, I hate death. Son of a bitch keeps phasing. And I can't hit him. I don't know why. Right there, what the fuck? I'm hitting him with my sword, and yet he is not dying. Hope I don't break my mouse from all this clicking. Go, Nin Nin! Rub yourself up against him until he dies. Err, my finger. Yeah, you know, my finger's gonna end up looking like some kind of weird hook shape.
Carpal tunnel, here I come. Oh shit, Nin, help me, Nin Nin. You suck, Nin Nin. You suck. Damn it, come on. Fine. Fine. You know Screw this. Hold on a minute, folks. Hold on one freaking minute. Alright, game, you want to play hardball? Fine. There. Wait, ah, oh, fuck, I did it to the wrong sword. Fuck. You saw nothing. 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 <sighs> Let's do this, you dead motherfucker. That's somewhat better. Now we just have to avoid unintentional death by Nin Nin refusing to heal us. Or him actually dying. Nin Nin, this is not the time to play happy time with death. It sucks because there's no one way to know when he's able to be hit. The current attack on him and he just stops being hit. Then there's no real way to actually know when he'll be able to be hit again. Like right there, you know he can't be hit because he's phased out. But you know he's going to phase back in. It's like right there. What the fuck is that? Nin Nin, assistance. Do not boss rush the boss. Heal. Your job is healing. Thank you. God, Nin Nin, what the fuck, man. Come on, die. Die already. Well, again. We'll fade out into existence. Non-existence. Be defeated. God, if I had a whip, this would be so much easier. Everyone knows the Grim Reaper is weak against a whip. Good night, folks.